Hello, hello. Welcome to another Tuesday workout with Bree. I'm so excited because today we're going to combine two of my favorite things. One being strength training, because strength training is such a great thing for our bodies. And then number two, Tabata, which means we're going to use the 20 second on, 10 second off protocol, and we're going to get after our entire body. So I have your comments up live. If you're coming in live right now, let me know how you're doing on this Tuesday. And if you're doing this on replay, you know what to do. Drop your comments below and let me know how you're feeling. We are going to start our timer and we're going to do a three minute warm up. So right here, I just want you to shake it out. You can do whatever feels good to you. And we're going to spend 30 seconds on each of these warm up moves. So I got six warm up moves. It's designed to warm up your entire body. And right now it's just a shake out. Get everything out, get any uh, anxiety out over this workout because guess what? It's going to be a fun one. All right, core is engaged and we're going to get ready for our first strength based warm up move. And hi, Erin. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. All right, take a peek. Here's your next move. You're going to go into a wide squat, lateral lunge, and keep alternating that lateral lunge. And this is going to warm up our lower body specifically. Good, down and up. We're going to warm up without the weights, but notice I do have my dumbbells, my 5.52s with me. That's what we're going to be using for the actual working section of our workout today. Okay, get ready. We're going to go into reverse lunge. Finish that last lateral. Good. Reverse lunge to an overhead sweep. So as your leg goes back, that's the same side that sweeps overhead. Make sure you pin down your abs. So I don't want to see backs arching. I'll show you from the side. So you want to make sure everything is nice and stable. Sweep overhead and give me that nice extension so you feel that hip flexor. Hi, Kimley. Hi, Sebastian. You guys should see, I have you up huge so I can see all your comments. Good, finish one more. Good, we're gonna go now, come down into a plank. You're gonna go from a down dog into a spider. So you're gonna push your hips all the way back, step forward, and then give me a little bit of a rotation. We started a little later on this one, so I'll give you a couple seconds to get familiar with it, and then come right in with me. Now, this is a good time to tell you, if there's any move that I do that just doesn't feel like, this is not what I wanna do with my body today, do you, so you can always modify it, change it up however you'd like. Good, and I'm gonna hold you here for another 10 seconds, and then we're gonna transition into a push-up and a side plank. I'm gonna take you guys down a little closer to me for these. Good, all right, push-up side plank for me. So down, and then open up to the side. So here's a good example. If this moves specifically, you wanna skip the rotation. You can simply hit some push-ups, knees or toes, Good, and take it at your own pace. This is a great way to warm up the entire body right now. We're getting chest, back, shoulders, core, even your booty. Good, keep going. Just about 10 seconds, you're gonna pop back up. We're gonna finish with our last warm up move. All right, I'm gonna meet you at the top. You got five more seconds. And we have jumping jacks. So last 30 seconds right here, arms overhead. And remember, you always have a low impact option right here but I want you to think about, I always call it wingspan. Think how big you can reach out with those arms. Land softly. Notice I bend my knees slightly because I want to control that landing. Oh, Tabata day. Yes, I agree. Love Tabatas. All right, you guys, you have seven seconds. And then I'm going to give you 30 seconds to grab your first weight selection and go get it. So our first Tabata today, you can go with kind of a medium load. What we're gonna do is two arm row to a bicep curl, and then we're gonna do a squat to press. So two moves that you can pretty much keep the same weight, and that's important because Tabata moves very fast. So go ahead and get that weight on for me. Meet me back on the floor. And we are gonna start in two seconds. Here we go, first set, 20 seconds. Two arm row, squeeze through, bicep curl. You can keep it that hammer curl. I'm gonna keep it a hammer curl today. Whew. Squeeze your glutes through, curl it up. Good, it goes fast. So guess what? Finish this one, three, two, 
one 10 second break. Don't set your weights down because we're going right into, take a peek, squat to overhead press. Are you ready? Come with me, 20 seconds. <sighs> Pressing overhead, do not arch that back. The warm up definitely gets that in your system early where you're not gonna arch the back. <sighs> Do you know that you can actually get a core workout the entire time? Good, 10 second break. Okay, we move quick. We're going right back to the top. So these two moves back and forth, two arm row, bicep curl, abs engaged, set two. Here we go, elbows up, stand tall, bicep curl. I'm showing you both types of bicep curls. Notice hammer curl, you keep the elbows in and the weights, palms facing you. Regular curl, you're gonna turn palms up towards the ceiling. And finish. 10 seconds, we go back to the squat press overhead. We're doing four rounds, then I'll give you a minute break, then we move on to the next Tabata. Are you ready? Squat press, here we go. Good. Now, I'm pretty sure when Sebastian said, yay, Tabata day, it's because he knows just as well as I do that we get a lot in. It's such a great full body burn. And if you like consistent movement the entire time, take a break. It's great because it gives our brain a chance. Before you even catch up to what we're doing, we're done. So get ready to move quick. We got two more sets. Here we go, two rows, bicep curl. Yes, you guys are doing really well, keep it up. Now I will also mention, if you are a beginner or if the pace is just moving a little bit faster than you'd like, take it your own pace. Honestly, this is your workout. Good, take a break, 10 seconds. You're like, we have not put these down. It's part of the whole formula. We just move, ready, squat press, third set. We're almost there. But again, take breaks as you want. Set the weights down if you'd like. <sighs> Squeezing all the way through, pressing overhead. 10 more seconds. I'll actually show you how you can set it down on your 10 second break if you want. But you'll see, it's like a two second down, pick it right back up. Okay, 10 second break. Here's an example. Shake it out. Okay, last round. Last round, best round. Pick them up. Two row, bicep curl. <sighs> Why do we do two rows and one curl? Because your back is a little bit stronger than the biceps. So we're keeping that two to one ratio. I plan everything out very specifically for you. Good, break. Look, you can set it down. That's why it's so great if you join us every single week because I got everything planned out to the second, literally. Okay, grab those weights, squat press, last set. Your one minute break is on the other side of these 20 seconds. Come on, earn it. Good, 10 more seconds. Do you feel the glutes behind you as well? Yes, squeeze up, press up, and done. I'm gonna let you ride out the 10 seconds of that Tabata set, and then you get a full minute break. So it moves quick. We don't take much time off, but now you get a full minute to just relax. And we're gonna get ready for Tabata number two. Grab a sip of water, meet me out. Let me know how you're feeling. I knew there wouldn't be any comments during that set because your hands were occupied the entire, excuse me, the entire time. All right, team. You got just about 30 seconds. We're going into Tabata number two. What we're gonna do next, you're gonna go into a reverse lunge. So you can hold your weights up at the top Reverse lunge, then you bring them down. Lateral raise, kind of like a scoop back up. Switch, lateral raise. Now you can go a little lighter for this set because we're gonna be hitting delts, triceps, because your next one's going to be rear delts, tricep kickback. So I wanna go a little bit lighter than you did on the first set. Go ahead and select that weight. Come right back out because we are gonna begin. Are you ready to rock it? Here we go. Reverse lunge, lateral raise. Alternate your legs. <sighs> Just 20 seconds. That's all we need. Good. <sighs> High drone. Good, keep going. 
and time. Take your 10 seconds, but watch me. Here's your next set. Rear delts, tricep kickback. Yes? Okay, come with me. Now, it was also very strategic to have us in this bent over position for the second Tabata as well. Why do you think? Because when you're in this position, you still have to call in your abs and your glutes. That is what is supporting you. So you're getting really solid work, full body. Okay, break. Whew. We've been here before. You know we go quick. We got three more sets. Ready, reverse lunge, lateral raise. Alternate your legs. Whew. Lead with the shoulders. Really, really controlled movements. <sighs> Good. Now, you can also afford in these Tabata sets to have a little bit more weight than maybe you would if you were doing 45 seconds, say, or 15 reps. Take a break. So it affords us to have a little bit more weight in our hands, too, because these moves are challenging. Okay, rear delt, tricep, kick back. Here we go. <sighs> Relax your neck. Remember, this is full body. So your entire body, your lower body is supporting you as you finish each rep. Your abs are supporting you. Keep going. Yes. Hi, Tabitha. And take your break. All right. Moving on. Keep going. We have our reverse curl and lateral raise coming up. Let's go. 20 seconds. Down. Lead with your shoulders. Notice, you can have straight arms or slightly bent, depends on the weight that you have in your hands. Did you know that you can take some of that load off just by bending your elbows? It's all about how far, this is harder, right? The longer the lever, break. Meaning the longer, the further distance that the weight is from the point that you're training, the harder it's gonna be. Bring it in a little bit, take a little bit of that load off. Okay, here we go, rear delt, tricep, we move so quick, but you guys are going to get huge benefit. Come on, keep that gaze down. Keep focused. Good. Sebastian, is Lily with you? Hi, Lily, if you are. <laughs> and break. We got one more round, guys. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. It's all going to be worth it. And week over week, you know. Reverse. Here we go. <sighs> The effort you put in in the 20 minutes will make you feel incredible after. So always show up, just join in, do your best, smile, have a good time. That's what it's all about. Exercise doesn't have to be so serious. <sighs> good. Finish this rep, break. You gotta be serious about form and safety, but have a little fun. All right, last set, rear delt, tricep kickback, let's go. Rear delt, kick it back. <sighs> Repeat it. <sighs> now, if you're wondering what we have after this, I will give you that minute break, and then we're going to the floor. We're gonna finish with some Tabata core moves till the end. All right, finish out your 10-second break here. You get a full minute. You can set your dumbbells down. We're gonna actually not use dumbbells for the core portion. Shake it out. That was full body. So we hit head to toe, major muscle groups, everything's moving. You can always come back and do this. You can even add on more sets. So I'm just telling you, because every workout I do with you that's 20 minutes, you can make it longer by just adding more sets when you come back. But today, we're gonna go ahead and come down, and we are going to go into some core work. So make sure you have some space. Let me know how you're feeling. Aaron says, feeling great. I see that one now. Great work. Okay. I forget when I'm down on this one. If I stand up, you can't see the top half. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready? Here is your first move. We are going to roll all the way through, and I want you to come up, press down, engage your lats, alternate your leg lifts. Remember, we got 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Three, two, one, go. Now, if the extension of the leg being straight is too much, watch me, you just bring it to a knee. But I want you to think about lifting your chest, and then the goal is 
You're pushing all the air behind you, engaging your lats. Take your 10 second break, flip around into a plank position. And what we're gonna do is alternate our leg lifts, tiny lifts, squeeze your booty. Doesn't have to be tall, ready? Here we go. Lifting one leg at a time, just nice and tiny. What I see a lot is, is this what you mean? No, we don't need to go that high. Just a tiny lift, keep those hips nice and stable. If you lift less high and focus on your glutes, you're gonna get a greater benefit. Take your break, flip around. Two exercises, just like we've been doing, 20 on, 10 off. Ready to rock it? And let's go. That was kind of a straight slash half. You guys, there's so many varying degrees. With options, it's not necessarily black or white. You have a lot of gray in there. Do what feels best for your body. Three, two, one, 10 second break, flip around. Core and booty. I'm gonna flip this way for you. Three, two, one, lift it. Remember, tiny lifts. <sighs> Squeeze your glutes. <sighs> don't let your hip, don't let your hip shift. So meaning, I don't wanna see this. You have to first and foremost, and if you can't maintain a really stable core, take it to your knees. And don't feel like that's quitting, right? It's just the option. Break, flip, two more sets. You got this. Come on, you came to play today, right? You always know when it's us doing our 20 minutes. Come on, alternating. We are gonna be super efficient with time. We pack in what sometimes I notice. So I'm an observer whenever I go lift. I notice sometimes the chat conversation amongst people working out by me is probably the same, as much, same amount as their workout. Break, flip. So here, we go right to the point. You get 20 minutes in of straight work. It's the most efficient 20 minutes ever. <laughs> Pop up. Glute lift. So first and foremost, stabilize with the core. Tuck your chin, so make sure you're not looking up. And I want you to tuck your chin and think about the base of the neck going towards the ceiling. Good, just five seconds. These form cues I give you, hopefully those little tweaks will make the biggest difference. Break, flip. Last set, team. Last set, and then we're gonna stretch a little bit. Ready? Alternate, go. Here's your straight leg. Try to come up at least halfway, like to that V-sit position, meaning not here and not all the way here. Right in the middle, meet your leg. Good. Four, three, two, one. Last set plank with our glute lift. I can't believe it's already done. That's what happens. I'm always amazed at how fast these 20 minutes go. Here we go. Last 20 second, glute lifts. Okay, right now, focus. Every time you exhale, think about your abs. Good, keep going. You're almost there, this is it. Really pull that belly button in, look down, tuck the chin. Three, two, one, done. Okay, just sink back into a child's pose. So wherever you're at, take those arms out. Hold that child's pose. Good, now kind of twist into it, so just shift your weight side to side. Feel the stretch through your armpits as you go side to side. Remember we did that chest stretch a couple weeks ago? This is kind of the same idea, but you're in a V position. Palms are down. Good, now come up to a kneeling position for me. Take your hands behind your back. Just give it a little stretch. All right, I'm just gonna face you. We're gonna go now into that chest stretch. A lot of you guys liked it, so if you didn't do that one, here is what it looks like. Take your arms wide and press side to side. Now you really wanna tuck and really pull the abs in and then press, and that's gonna allow you to get into the chest a little bit more. Good, and just keep going. A Couple more seconds. I'm gonna take us back up to a standing position to finish. So meet me up there, three, two, one. All right, we're back up at the top. Go ahead and take your hands behind your back. I'm stretching our chest a lot, and this is why. 
I would say overall, we all have very tight pectoral muscles. So it's very good anytime I get you to stretch out your chest. Okay, take one leg back, reach. And then this is a great time to tell you, Thursday, so I'm gonna start prioritizing different sports-specific stretches for our Thursday 10 minutes, switch. So this Thursday, we're gonna do a specific stretch for runners. Now, does that mean that you can't do it if you're not a runner? No, because typical tightness that runners have, we all have, but it is a great sport-specific stretch if you are a runner. Okay, last one, take your legs wide, press your shoulder. And then what I would love you to do, comment below this video, or any video for that matter, and let me know what sport-specific or even muscle-specific, round up, stretches you would like to prioritize, because then it's just an easy, quick way for you to go back and go, I've been running a lot. Let me do some running stretches. All right, you guys, last chest stretch. One big deep breath in. Lift up in through the nose. Exhale. And that is our 20 minutes today. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you Thursday for our running specific stretch. Until then, comment with any questions. I'm always here for you. And I hope you make it the best day ever. Remember, it's mindset. So go get it. I'll see you guys Thursday.